What's up, my soul subscribers? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know it's been a few days since I've been offline, y'all, but sometimes that's how it is. That's how it is. If this is your first time joining, I ask you, I welcome you with love and light. I'm asking you to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification button for when I'm coming with the latest. You guys will be prompt to my A1 Day Ones. Thank you all for your continued love and support for my channel. Um... If you are seeking a personal reading, all that information will be in my description box below. And you guys go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel, Living in Personal Style. Um, you know, I kind of give you an insight on my personal life, cooking with my girls, my little workout routine that I've just started, 15-minute workouts, you know, after losing 90, um, after losing 95 pounds, 95 pounds, I'm working on toning up my body. So, you know, I'm going to be posting my second video today will be day two for me, but you know, just out there to inspire someone to keep going, keep going. Okay. Um, also, um, uh, let's see any other news, any other news? Nope. But what I heard, what I heard was I'm searching. For someone who can turn my life around. Someone who can make me feel the way I used to feel. That's what I really want. That's Jer um, Gerald Levert. Because I'll give anything and everything to fall in love. Just this one time, I like to find what I've been dreaming of. If I can find someone to hold me, but that wouldn't be enough. And I'll give anything to fall in love. Now that song has been playing in my head all damn day. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. I was even listening to music, y'all. But that's what I was hearing, okay? Yeah, somebody's ready for a change. Somebody, I feel like somebody's tired of one, they're lonely. That's one. Um, and I feel like they've just been in a lot of loveless relationships. I feel like this person has just been giving so much to others um, and not receiving in return that equal give and take, you know? Always trying to. I feel like somebody's just at the point where they're tired of proving themselves and they've been trying to prove themselves to ones that really truly never had any love or was never loyal to them. Right. Yeah. So this person is now like, you know, I'm searching, they are searching, but you know, I feel like this person needs to really like learn to love themselves first because you are what you attract. Right. And this person is looking for someone to fill a gap, to fill a void. And we only no one could fill that void. You know, people are supposed to come and add to our happiness. You know, you're supposed to be a whole within yourself, complete whole, you know, com a full completion within yourself. Right. So let's see. This person said, and I'll give anything. And everything. See, yeah, because they've been dealing with a lot of people with their heart chakras being blocked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very much so blocked. And with this two, this two is like, you know, they've been partnering up with people um, that was been with this two, with the yellow, the yellow, the, the solar plex chakra here. It's like, this person needs to go within and partner up with their angel guides. You know, find that true love within themselves. You know what I mean? That's what they need to do. But also, this is a representation of my two of pentacles. They've been dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of delays in their love situation, their love life. You know, I feel like this person would try to f give people their material wealth. They'll give the shirt off their back, you know, and feel like they can buy love in a sense. But you can't buy love. When somebody's heart chakra is blocked, it's just blocked. You feel me? You can't buy love. You just can't just can't i'm hearing that ll cool j song who do you love are you sure who do you love are you for sure all right mother isis father god as i open these rooms give me clear honest messages from my beautiful soul subscribers protect my aura and my chakras use me as a vessel so mote it be yeah so mote it be who do you love? Are you for sure? Yeah. So you see that reverse? Hmm? I feel like this person right here, 
because in in my in my Uno deck it depends on the energy. Um, I feel like this person been going back and forth, you know, with the same energy. They keep reversing themselves, like they would leave a situation and keep going back, thinking that this person would change, you know, because this blue for me is not only my throat chakra it's my third eye and my crown chakra but it also represents for me this blue represents my air signs gemini libra aquarius and it also represents my water signs cancer pisces scorpio so this is um who you could be you know the person dealing with this or you my collective but you see that one right here this is a um aries or emperor but spirit is like you gotta stand alone you gotta find your power within you you gotta find you gotta stand on your stability because this root chakra is like being responsible for oneself right yeah it's like you it's like it's like yeah being secure and self-sufficient right you gotta learn to love oneself you gotta find your power within because this person's been dealing with a lot of loss and regrets Okay, this is like my five of cups, uh, five of swords energy. You know what I mean? They've been dealing with a lot of regrets and loss over the time. And it's time for this person to go within and set boundaries. With the five here, it also represents my fifth chakra. You know, somebody needs to be able to stand up for them, stand up for themselves and speak their truth. You know, learn to speak your truth and stop allowing people to walk over you. Because, you know, it's, it's time for change. It's just, it's just time to stand in your power. Stand in your power here and be self-sufficient, right? All right. Yeah. Learn to love oneself. All right. And yeah. And with that fifth chakra, this is right here. This is all about communication, uh, willpower, truthfulness and setting boundaries. OK. And, and learning to express themselves. I feel like this person would just because they're afraid of losing that of their partner, they'll just accept things like, you know, if they're really not happy, for example, if somebody says, I want tacos for dinner tonight and this person really wants a burger, they'll be like, OK, even though if they don't really want it, I'm just using it as a, a as a small example of my collective. You feel me? Um, yeah. But spirit is like what you put out is what you're going to get back. OK, what you put out is what you're going to get back. OK, this person needs to fi find some inspiration because this one also stands for um, new beginnings, opportunities and potentials. All right. Um, I feel like this person just settles for potential love but never re really getting the love that they really deserve right yeah you need to take action you need to put that love in oneself that green represents the heart chakra as well this is all about self-forgiveness as well learning to stand on your own yeah and going through this transformation look at this letting go of this karmic cycle you need somebody that is um with this eight right here it's like they've been through many cycles it's like they've been through this in the past life and they came back in this life with this life with this in, in this energy in this lifetime right yeah so this person needs to get themselves on their right path they need to get themselves on their right path this four also represents um it also represents structure stability you know being able to manifest a the change they need to go within and manifest this change within themselves and find their inner strengths okay they need to get themselves aligned on all levels from from the root chakra to the crown chakra all the way all seven chakras need to be balanced here with this eight all right they need to go within and find their strength find their power right and, and stand up for themselves you know yeah stand up for themselves um, but I just feel like a lot, a lot of people, this person has just been dealing with a lot of hurt. Okay. And, and spirit wants this person to go within and make this change, go within and, and find their power and their strength within. And once they do so, they will find the right partner. They will find the person that's aligned to their purpose in their life. Right. Yeah. Cause what you attract within is what you're going to, is, is what you're pulling in, um, manifesting. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go within and find some this self love. This for me is like the ace of wands, ace of cups. You need to find self inspiration. You need to be inspired. Put yourself around people that's inspiring. That's going to uplift you. OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's see what else is going on here. What's going on here? Yeah. I feel like somebody was always trying to buy people's love, buy people's approval. You know, and it's like, no, once you start manifesting um, and, and, and putting in the work and manifesting your growth within, that's what you will attract. You will attract someone that will be a safe partner. You will attract someone that you are destined to be with as well with this eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's what that is. Whew. All right. Let's see. Let's get the um, let's get the message of love oracle here. Yeah, I feel like this person has been dealing with a lot of rejections. That's what they've been dealing with. A lot of rejections. Yeah, here it is. 
This is the five right here. A lot of instability, okay? Emotional inst instability, a lot of rejection. It says this rejection is actually divine's protection. Spirit wants you to go in and make that change, okay? Start putting what you put out is what you get back, okay? So this person needs to find some inspiration within themselves and stop looking for potentials. The potential is within you, within oneself, right? Yeah, because someone is secretly yearning. Somebody seek longing and secretly yearning for, uh, for you, my collective. That's probably you, or that's somebody that's um secretly yearning you now. Okay. I'm gonna make this reading short, guys, because I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Yeah. This is the finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So that's what I'm saying. This person would try to buy someone's love. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. They will provide everything for this person because this person is a divine masculine or a divine feminine as well. OK, this person is an emperor or an Aries. You could be this person could also be a Taurus. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, um, they can have Earth in their chart. They can have Scorpio in their chart. But it's time to go through this transformation. Yeah, I feel like this person has passed on with a broken heart before. And they came back in this lifetime with, a, with this broken heart, okay? Let's see what's going on here. And then we're going to pull the tarot. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. There it go. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Yeah, because once I, I feel like this person is just rushing. They rush in headwards, you know, head first, heart first, and don't think with their head. No, they just go in and when they go in, they realize they never set any boundaries. They never really express their truth. They never express their feelings and their, op their opinions and how they feel. You know, they just stick around with the conflicts. You know, they stick around. They never express their truth, right? No, no, it's always about trying to inspire someone else with this Ace of Wands energy and this heart chakra. It's like this person is they're easy to forgive. They inspire others, but this person needs to take the time and go within and find the inspiration within themselves. OK, yeah. All right. Take the time to get to know each other. Go slow down because I feel like this person goes in head heart first without thinking. OK, yeah. And there go the finances again. OK, yeah. And it's like the moment this person, if you if they don't have the money, the fruit cup. If they don't have the money to suffice this person's needs, this person goes off and see other people. Oh, trust. It is safe to trust in the situation. All right. And that's and, and with that trust is letting it go. Ending a situation. All right. Letting it go. Because I feel like somebody's right here sitting in this five of cups energy, feeling regretful, feeling remorse. OK, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it says retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge. That's what I'm saying. Spirit is like go within and, and feel and find inspiration within yourself. Go within and start doing this reflecting of why do I keep attracting this type of energy? OK. Oh, wow. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear my collective. OK, somebody wants to come back and apologize. OK. For the way they treated you. All right. All right. This could be the person that's on the outside or this is I feel like this is the person on the outside, but somewhat some of you, um, you two as well, my collective. OK. Yeah. What else is going on here? Is there any more? All right. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off and enjoy each other. All right. Um, Woo! Yeah, does this situation align with your values and your morals? No, because these people are 3D and you're a divine masculine, divine feminine here. Okay, yeah, this hierophant energy is this also this hierophant energy right here. You got to commit to oneself. You got to commit to your faith. Okay, I feel like some of y'all had spiritual beliefs that was different as well. All right, yeah, and I feel like somebody just, they dropped their guards or they was holding on to these uh, spiritual beliefs or their their faith their upbringing and settling for less settling for less being that provider giving to that relationship and this person was only here to you it's like you would see this person's potential but this person was not really aligned with your values and your morals and your principles right right i'll give anything to fall in love so some of y'all are this person was in a relationship and they're still they still weren't in love they still weren't in love no no, 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 no. Um, 
And I feel like the person on the outside as well that's that's feeling this energy now, this regret, this remorse, they're the one that want to come back and apologize to you. They want a brand new beginning with you, my collective, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person, because you let this person go, you set those healthy boundaries, you spoke your truth, and because you spoke your truth, you're moving on, you're taking out... Uh, um, it's like this person... It's like you're, it's, they're now realizing how inspirational you were to them, how much you inspired them, okay? Yeah, how much they could have grown with you. Now they see your potential, right? Now they see the potential of the relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like with this eight, this is a past life soulmate as well. This is a past life soulmate energy. This this eight for me is like my wheel of fortune. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is something that has happened in the past life. And I feel like this person is now coming aligned to their life's purpose right here. Okay. They're becoming aligned with their life purpose here. They're finding themselves. They're finding themselves. Okay. All right. Let's get the tarot on this. Let's get the royal tarot on this. Let's get the royal tarot. Wow. I just see Eight of Swords. Look at that. Tight. Eight of Swords. I feel like this person is trying to figure out how they're going to come back in and try to work on the situation with you now. Because they want to they wanna apologize. Okay? This person wants to apologize. I feel that you heard the lyrics, I'm searching for someone who could turn my life around. All right. But they're realizing even if they even if they even if they went at a distance and went elsewhere and got with other people, these people never they weren't you. They were never you, my collective. This is a soulmate connection right here. OK, I feel like this person is letting go of the karma. They let go of this karmic life cycle that they are. They're going through a transformation right here. OK, mm -hmm. but also this person taught you a spiritual lesson too, my collective. OK, this is a, this is where you left them because this is where they had you. But I feel like the tables have turned now. OK, let me move these out of the way. I feel like the tables have turned now. OK, you let go of this karmic cycle. You moved on. And in order to do this, you have to leave this person because I'm picking up a twin flame energy here as well. All right. This twin flame energy has been coming out. I haven't been posting any videos, but I've been shuffling out the cards and just playing with the cards on a day to day basis. And I've been picking up a lot of twin flame energies coming resurfacing. OK, so this person is now with the eight of swords trying to figure out a situation. They go to that five of swords. Five of Wands. They're feeling a lot of conflict right now. Um, this person is feeling... I feel like this person is also jealous of the fact that you've moved on. Okay? They're jealous that somebody else can have you. Okay? Yeah. 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 With this Five of Swords right here, this is them right here. They was doing too much. This person was doing too much and, and whatever they were doing, like I said, you have to express your truth. You have to speak your truth and set those boundaries. Yeah, because this person wanted to keep you in a lot of competition. Five of Wands. Yeah, there was too much conflict with that five. A lot of unstable energy. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too much. It was too much. And I've seen the scorpionic energy here. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Wow. Yeah, and that's the truth, Spirit says. Justice is being served. You could be dealing with a Libra here. All right, but this person is dealing with... I feel like some of y'all probably divorced this person. Some of y'all was probably in this long-term relationship with this person, but there was no emotional stability. There was no emotional stability, okay? And you finally find the inspiration to go within and close out this cycle and get on your path. That's where you're at right now. And that's the truth. Because now you're realizing what you put out is what you get back. Cause and effect with the justice card here, okay? Cause and effect. And I feel like this person is getting their karma. This person is getting their karma. They're getting their karma for the way they mistreated you. Yeah, because a lot of shit is blowing up right now in this person's face. Things are suddenly changing. They're dealing with a lot of chaos and upheaval in their life right now. It's like this person is going through an awakening with this tower card. They're going through an awakening, okay? Yeah. Some of y'all had a family with this person. Ten of Pentacles energy, right? Okay, Ten of Cups. Yeah, they realized they could have a happy life, happy, successful life with you. There you go. Wow. Oh, my God. These cards are falling all apart. Look at that. Ten of Cups, Ten of ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is now realizing that you are their end-all, be-all. But look at them. Three of Swords, heartbroken. This person allowed you to go through your healing and, and got on your throne, my Empress. I told you Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine is here, okay? Yeah. This person allowed you to move on because you set those boundaries. And because you set those boundaries, you put this love into yourself. You know, no more of this reverse energy. It's like this person kept playing on your heart. You know, they, 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 they seem as if they was ready. They seem as if they was ready to take action. They seem as if they was ready to, for these new opportunities with you, but they weren't. But now they are. 
Now they are. Now they are because of right here, I feel like everything, chaos is what's going on in their life right now. They're realizing what they put out is what they get back. So now they're dealing with this conflict within themselves. Okay, this is a lot of inner conflict. And I feel like they're trying to hide right now with time alone and recharging. Okay, that's what you did because this is a, I'm picking up a twin flame energy here. Definitely a twin flame energy here. OK, but now this person is realizing that they should have never had you in all these competitions, because right now this person is only focused on that. It's like they they're talking to themselves. It's like self negative talk right now. OK, this emperor. I feel like this Aries or this emperor. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they, they keep reversing in their head. They just keep thinking about the things, the conflict that they put you through. And that's why they want to apologize. They're really sorry for what they've done. OK, they definitely get their karma. They realize that you were the divine feminine or their divine masculine. They're now realizing that they could have had a happy, successful life with you. But this is what you're doing now. This is what you're doing now. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy. This is where you're at within yourself. You're fully aligned to your life's purpose. You find your inner strength and you align yourself. And that's why you're sitting on this throne as the Empress or the Emperor. Take it how it resonates. This person is right here in the Three of Swords. How they had you feeling is what they're feeling now. How they had you feeling is what they're feeling now. This five of wands, yeah, had you in this competition. This person was doing the most. They was doing too much. They wanted to have the upper hand over you. They thought they was going to have a grip over the situation to keep you right here. Five, six, seven. This is eight swords again. Eight swords. Look at that. Eight. Look at that. Eight. It's like what goes around comes around. Look at that. A double eight. Eight, eight. You feel me? Look at that. Eight of swords. Look at this. Five. Six, seven, eight, eight of swords again. Look at that, huh? What goes around comes around, huh? So this person wants you to get the, they want to take the time to get to know you now. Okay, they want to get the, they want to take the time to get to know you. They, they, they thinking about all, it's like their heart chakra. It's like no matter where this person go, their heart comes right back to you. This is what the green, the heart chakra represents. This, this is all about love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness. This person wants your forgiveness. They're now realizing who you are to them. And they realize that when they had you in all this conflict competition, because they, they're dealing with this inner conflict within themselves. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is what they're dealing with. Okay, they're feeling unstable emotionally as well. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Because they can't stop thinking about all the bullshit they put you through. All right? And they want to know if, if you would trust them again. It says it's safe to trust in this situation. So this person is going to come. They're going to take action towards you with this Ace of Wands energy. They're coming forward. They want to express themselves. They, they want to apologize. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Yeah, yeah. They're ready to heal. There you go. Ace of Cups, baby. See, but this person has to learn to love themselves. They have to go within. This is a renewal. They want a renewal with you and their hopes. They're hoping that you would trust in the situation to give them another chance. Ace of Cups star card. Look at these major arcanas, huh? Because this person got their karma. There go that justice card. It's like justice represents uh, when it comes to a court situation. I feel like some of y'all did divorce this person. For some of y'all, it was a marriage, okay? For some of y'all, it was just a long-term relationship. But also with the justice card here, this is cause and effect, this is truth. This is balance. All right. So what you put out is what you get back. And that's what's going on with this person. That's what's going on. Their heart is not, they, their heart is not at, at rest. Their mind is not at rest. This person want to come and express their truth, but they know that you set them boundaries. They know, they know that you set them boundaries. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 But I, I'm picking up on the twin flame energy here. Okay. This is a past life lover too. This is someone that, that you, you've been here many lifetimes before. Okay. Yeah. 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 But like I said, you're on your right path right now. You want somebody that you can trust. You want somebody that's aligned to their life purpose, somebody that's fully healed. And I feel like that's what they allowed you to do right here. You see that self-love is what got you right here on this emperor, emperor status. Got you right here on this emperor or this empress status, okay? Yeah, that's what got you here. Now you're happy. You're taking leadership of your life. This person now realizing that they could have a successful life with you. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, who, for the ones that weren't married, that's what you wanted. You wanted long-term commitment. That's what you wanted, okay? But now this person is realizing that since they allowed you to take leadership right here, they've allowed you to get on your Ten of Pentacles, honey. You're abundant within yourself. You're happy. You're successful. Okay. Yeah. You let go of this karmic cycle and it's like what goes around comes around. Yeah. Yeah. Now this person is getting themselves aligned to their life's purpose. 
with this 8-8, eight, eight, yeah, this person is realizing that you are destined, you and them are destined to be. But I feel like you guys have to separate yourself. You have to separate yourself from this person because they had you right here. Your heart was unstable. Okay? Five. This person, they, this person is going through their changes now. That's that, that's that chaos. This person is going through this awakening. They're going within to make this change. You see that eight, four, and a five is that that's that eight. They're going within to let go of these karmic cycles. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. This person is going through an awakening. All right. Yeah, that's what's going on here. That's what's going on. So, like I said, they were searching. They was absolutely searching. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. All right, yeah, <clears throat> a Scorpio. <clears throat> Both of y'all could be Scorpios, okay? Yeah, but this person is going through an awakening. So let's get this ended with the Yin Yang Oracle. But this person got a lot of love for you. They want they want a renewal with you. But see, this you put that love within yourself. This is self love. This is self love. And with that Five of Swords, that jealousy, they feel like as if you might have another option too with new love. Okay, some of them feel like you probably got a new love. So I feel like they're willing to come and fight for this love right now. I feel like they're willing to come and fight for this love. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like they're they trying to figure out a situation, but it's like they can't. It's like there is no other situation. You are the situation, my collective. Okay? Yeah. You ain't got time to, to goof off with this person. You ain't got time. You were too busy playing hard and getting that money. All right? But they want you to trust into them again. And this person is in withdrawal mode right now with this retreat right now. And that retreat is you alone. You're standing on your throne. You're not fucking with this person. Nah, you're just not. You're not putting up with the bullshit. And I just feel like that's with overall, all past relationships and, and, and just no more settling for less. No more. And that's the truth. You're balanced within yourself. Okay? So let's get the um, Yin Yang Oracle and end this reading. Okay. There you go. Offer. This is the offer this person want to come in. But see, they had you, they was dealing with their toxicity. They're breaking these bounds. You see them chains? They're releasing themselves. They're letting go of these patterns. This is the offer they want to come in and make. This is the this is how they feel. There go that apology card. There go peeking. There go apology. This person wants your forgiveness. Okay? Yeah, they're nostalgia over you. But like I said, I feel like you're blocking this person. You're avoiding that with that five. You're avoiding this person. No more. You set boundaries. You see this person as a stalemate. But right here, it says they will be traveling towards you. You will be getting some type of message from this person. Yeah, because right now, it's like you're right here on your stability, your flow. You're feeling in flow with that, that empress energy, emperor energy, okay? Alchemist, alchemy, ancestral guidance. That's what this person is going through when they're going within to, with that eight, okay? Yeah, because they know that you're avoiding them. And until they make this change, they're finding the courage to do so. Okay, this person also inspired you, my collective. They inspired you to release this energy and purge yourself and releasing. And that's what this person is now doing. This is what they're now doing. Okay, yeah. Because you're right here stable and in flow. You're avoiding this person. Okay, you set them boundaries with that five. Okay, and you're, you've taken the spiritual guidance to go within. You took that opportunity with that ace of wands, that one, take them new beginnings for yourself. That's what you did. OK, so now this person is now forcing like, you know, they, they, they it's like they're finding the courage to go within to release their toxic energy. And now they want to come in because it's like with the forgiveness and the memory cards here, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't. And I told you with that, that reverse with the heart, with the um, in their thoughts, in their emotions. Where's that other reverse? Yeah, right here. They, they, it's like their heart keeps reflecting over you. They can't. No matter what they do, they can't get they can't get you out of their mind. They can't get you out of their thoughts. They just out of your heart. Their heart just keeps coming right back to you. So with that green, that heart chakra, this person absolutely wants your forgiveness. Okay? They want your forgiveness. I feel like this person, they, they, they're going to send you a message for sure. You could be dealing with a water sign. Okay? They're going to communicate with you. But um, before, and they, they want this offer. They want to come in and put this offer in. Okay, anything else? Yeah, because whatever they was projecting is what's being reflected upon them. Karma. Okay, they're in regrets. See, because see, with that five of swords energy, this is what they thought. They thought they was gonna have control over the situation. They thought they was gonna have they was gonna have your their foot on your neck. That's what they thought. See, because this is what they were dealing with. Their shadow side. And like I said, with that five of wands, this is where they had you. There, there's a, a lot of disharmony and, and triggers and conflict between the both of you. Him. And her. This is what was going on between y'all. A lot of disharmony, mistrust. So this person is spying. They're spying and they're watching you right now. Yeah, because they, they want to come in. Yeah, this is their remembering, their awakening. That's that tower. They're going through that awakening. Okay? 
So that's what this person is going through my collective. Anything else from this deck spirit? Yep. Isolating themselves and thoughts. That's that retreat. Eight of swords energy. Yep. What else is going on? Anything else? Oops, let me turn these over. Yep, they definitely want to come and make this offer. But they got to they gotta cleanse their energy, and they know that. Because you set those firm boundaries, my collective. You absolutely set those firm boundaries. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. Anything else? Anything else? Yep, they had their third parties at the time. They had, they, they had external parties here, keeping you in them conflicts, that competition. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, doing too much. There you go. That's what the toxic energy was. This is the toxicity that they were bringing towards your life. Fighting with other lovers, competing with their baby mama or their baby daddy. And there go that star card. They want to renew it with you. There go that star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. They now miss your nurturing and your compassionate energy because you, I feel like you detached yourself, my collective. You went cold on this person. Yeah, because you put that self love into you, self caring energy into you. That's what got you on that Emperor Empress energy. Okay? You're living in your life purpose with that eight. I told you, you're living in your life purpose, my collective. You're in your life's purpose. Where you at? There it is. There it is. You're aligned. You're aligned with your life's purpose. There you go. You went within and found the strength to go within and align yourself. All your chakras. You're lit. You're lit. You're on your journey, honey. So this person is now feeling in lack. That's what they're feeling. Yeah, like I told y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and here go the twin flame. I can't make it up. There go that twin flame energy. So that's that's because you're right now in your present moment, living in your abundance and feeling grateful. Okay, that's what you're doing. That's that self-care. So this person know that you're not playing. You're cold. You're, you're detached from this person. And that's how they had you feeling. But this is how you're this is how they view you now. Okay, so that's what I have for you. If you guys enjoy this read, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to don't forget to click the notification button, my collective and thumbs up the video and share it with those who you think needs to hear it. It's your girl, unknown goddess. I wish you guys love and light.